Well, hello everyone. In our scripture passage for today, Peter is continuing his Pentecost sermon. In the first part, he called on the people to recognize the things that they did wrong. And now he is asking them to take the next step. He wants them to make changes so that they don't keep doing those things. Think of it like this. When I was in school, if you did something wrong, the teacher might write your name on the board. And if you kept doing it, the teacher would put a check mark next to your name. Today, my kids start out the day with the color green, but if they break a rule, they go to yellow, and if it keeps happening, they go to red. Whatever the system, you do not want to get a check mark next to your name or go to the color red because that means that you kept repeating the same mistake. And in our scripture passage for today, the crowds listening to Peter recognize that they are repeating the same mistakes again and again. And so they ask Peter, what should we do? Imagine feeling bad about your teacher putting a check mark next to your name in school. So you ask your teacher what you could do differently so that this does not keep happening. And in that scenario, your teacher would gladly tell you what you should do next. If, for example, you kept talking to your friend in class instead of listening while the teacher was talking, your teacher might suggest that you two not sit next to each other during class and save your talking for recess. Or if you kept chewing gum in class and sticking it under your desk, your teacher might ask you not to bring any gum to school in the first place. Or if you keep forgetting to bring your homework folder home, your teacher might help you make a reminder so that you remember to put it in your backpack before you leave. But in the case of the crowds in our scripture passage, Peter tells them to do something very different. While they did do bad and naughty things, the primary problem that they kept repeating was that they did not trust God and they kept breaking their relationship with God. And so when they ask him, what should we do? Peter says that they should repent and be baptized and that they should believe in Jesus and follow him. And in doing that, God would restore their relationship forever. And the crowd would show that they were sorry and ready to make a change. And in trusting in Jesus, they would be able to live the way that God wanted them to live. And the same is true for us today. If you don't want to keep making the same mistakes and want a new relationship with God, follow Peter's instructions. Repent. Say you're sorry. Be baptized. Put your faith and trust in Jesus and live the way that Jesus taught us to live. And I hope that helps you to understand our scripture passage just a little bit better. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>